you guys, the shower is everything right now. Seriously. Oh my god. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face, finish getting showered up, and then I'm going to go ahead and um start getting ready for the day. I got so much stuff to do. So I will see you soon. Good morning, you guys. Okay, so I already washed up and everything. So I'm gonna try and make this video quick. I know my lips look hella dry, my face. I didn't wanna put anything on yet just so that I can get ready. You can get ready with me. While um, I do that, I'm gonna discuss my weight loss. Of course, I promised you guys that I would show you my tummy tuck um, cover up tattoo. So, I came through guys I came through so I'm just gonna pretty much do like an average like morning makeup routine that I would do like today I have to run a couple errands with my husband so get some stuff out the way because tomorrow we have a big day um, we are taking the kids um, this like surprise and I don't wanna I gotta whisper guys because they're outside the door doing schoolwork so um we have to get all kinds of stuff out the way, so I'm going to go ahead and put my little my light makeup on. I do not know how to beat my face to the gods like some of y'all do on YouTube. Y'all pretty dope. Y'all got that because I don't know how. I wish I knew how, but I don't know how. I get my eyelashes done right now. It's just the classic lashes. Like, it's just a classic. Um, My eyelash girl, I call her my eyelash queen, she normally does the volume, but last time she just did the classic i'm gonna make sure i remind her because i'm gonna make an appointment towards the end of this month to get my eyelashes done because i really want the um volume done before christmas and new year's so i'm definitely gonna get that done so i have a couple of things that i try and mix up and use for my face i try not to use a lot just because my face is so sensitive as you can see i have like blemishes whiteheads blackheads you name it so i ordered this from amazon I'm so sorry if you can't see it. Uh, I try to get my stuff to focus. I apologize, but it's the 24 karat um, advanced um, serum. I like to use that. And I like to mix up my 100% uh, extra virgin olive oil. Like, no, I don't even think it's going to focus. I'll be doing my best. But that's what I use. I like to mix that up. And one of the cheapest products that I like to use on my face to lotion my face up is honestly just regular cocoa butter y'all like just a regular regular smuggler so i mix it up in my hands before i go ahead and put the foundation on i don't use a lot like there really is pieces of the serum like gold in it i know my hand looks ugly but my hand got messed up so i gotta work with what god uh left me and uh that's that so like my face y'all like is so sensitive my skin in general is sensitive like I can't use certain soaps on my body especially down there because TMI I'm so sorry I will swell up like I know it sounds crazy I'll probably like what the hell no but seriously I will and um my daughter has skin like reactions too like her hands look so raw right now from using the sanitizer and constantly having to wash her hands because of covid so i'm gonna pretty much do a light like i'm gonna tell y'all light i'm gonna do my foundation and then i'm gonna do like um my eyeliner and brush out i'm gonna show you guys the little brushes that my girl gives me oh my god don't tell me the baby took them out my four-year-old gets into all my stuff, guys. Y'all don't understand. She really does get into all my stuff. And I just be like, why? Oh, my goodness, guys. I am so... Give me a second. Okay, y'all. So, I'm so sorry. I thought I had that ready. So, she gives me these eyelash brushes. Like, every time I go there, she wraps them up. They're sanitized. We both wear masks. Yes, we do. When she does this. But, let me hurry up and... 
And it's crazy because I get compliments all the time about my eyelashes. My eyelash extensions because everyone's always asking me like, oh my God, your eyelashes are beautiful. Like, are you know, are they natural? And they're like, they look so real. When I tell them that they're extensions, like, honest to God, they are mind blown. So I'm going to tell you all about, real quick, this Il Maquillage. If I mispronounce it, God, like, guys, forgive me. Don't come for me, please. I don't, listen, I don't really do makeup like that. But when I do this right here, I ordered it a couple months ago. And, um, I wanted something that I could really, like, um, like, it for my face, for my specific skin. And believe it or not, guys, I took the test online for this makeup. And when I tell y'all it matched me, I was just like, I see a lot of these things and I just be like, y'all, it's fake. Like, there's no way that they're going to match my skin complexion with something online. I took the test. And then um, it was seven day trial, no 14 day trial. If you don't like it, you can send it back. If not, they will charge you the $44 for the product. Um, then I signed up for a, like a subscription because that's how much I liked it when I had it. And then I got a free brush from them. And it's the foundation brush. Cute little brush. I love this brush. I don't use it that much. I don't wear makeup all the time. Like I said, I got stuff to do today. And I want to look decent. So, that's pretty much. So, I'm going to go ahead and apply my stuff. And then I'm going to talk to you guys. So, I wanted to start off with my weight. I literally lost almost like 5 pounds from like walking. And I think, honest to God, guys, I think probably 80% of it was my eating. I have not eaten meat since it's been months. Like, I haven't eaten, like, chicken. I usually eat burgers when I go out with my husband, like, steaks. Like, I make, like, all kinds of, um, like, I get, I eat all kinds, like, I was eating all kinds of stuff before. And uh, don't roast me, guys. I don't really know how, like, apply it. I just apply it like how I do it. Like I told y'all, um, I really don't apply makeup that good. Y'all see that? So, yeah, I pretty much haven't been eating it for a couple of months and I noticed that like I just started noticing inches like being lost like jeans that I haven't worn in so long like I fit them now like 13s 14s like I'm a pretty thick girl y'all will see when I will show you on a little bit my stomach I'm in my underwear right now so if you guys aren't comfortable watching or looking at that please click off of the video because I am in my underwear when I show you guys my tummy tuck um tattoo I don't want to make anybody uncomfortable but you will be seeing me and my panties so pretty much um i think most of it has been that i've been eating a lot of fruits and veggies like i'm talking about a lot like it's throughout the day i don't eat as many meals like heavy meals i eat a bunch of small stuff like i snack throughout the entire day of what my stomach can handle lately i just not have been wanting any food so i had substituted my um I substituted this uh, protein powder to make up for the meat that, that I'm not eating. And when I tell you guys, it's very rare if I have like lamb or like, and that's just from having a gyro or like a sub to have the turkey meat on it. Like I hardly eat any meat. Like everything I eat for dinner, I'll eat the sides, which was very small, but I'll eat a lot of vegetables. So I lost a lot of my weight doing that. I have not been in the gym, I'll be honest with y'all, for like two weeks because I've seen this lady. Y'all, she sneezed on a machine. She sneezed on it. And then I looked at her and I watched the whole thing like spray. It was like, and I was like, you're nasty. Like, I was like, oh my God. I was like, ah. Like, I know she could see through my mask and my eyebrows was like, ew, like what is going on? She looked at me dead in my eyes. Like we made eye contact y'all. And she walked away from the machine. She didn't clean her or anything. Like she sneezed all over it. And I was just like, listen, I don't have a strong immune system to be sitting here going to the gym and getting sneezed on by nobody. Now, another girl came after her and I'm dead serious, y'all. Another girl came after her, and she didn't clean the machine before she got on. You're supposed to clean before and after. I didn't even get the chance because I was going to turn around and grab white. So, like, I can clean it. I see her on it, and I was like, oh, my God. I didn't get to tell her, you need to clean it down, ma'am. But, yeah. But, yeah, I thought it was so nasty. So, I haven't been to the gym, but just because you can't go to the gym does not mean that you can't stay fit at home. My husband works four days out the week, about 11 hours, sometimes 
they've been pushing for overtime so her also work an extra day while he's at work i actually work out because i need to have like some type of routine so that i don't go crazy so that i can keep my body like going so like i said i noticed i lost inches i haven't worn this sweater in so long like this crop top sweater in so long and i fit it again i actually went through a lot of my clothes and got rid of them um i like to donate the clothing that i don't wear anymore to people in need like the salvation army things like that i don't like to just toss them in the garbage like people can use that stuff and it's gently used like I, I don't understand why people just get rid of stuff like that but anyway that's pretty much like what my eating i just eat lightly so if you guys are trying to lose weight honest to god it's the way you eat you can go to the gym all you want but if you get out the gym and you eat a whole burger you eat fries you eat this you eat ice cream you eat all that you're not gonna lose weight now, right now, it's not that I'm, tr I'm not tr trying to lose weight. I'm trying to maintain, my, like, more, like, I don't want to say, like, maintain it. I'm just trying to make sure that I stay healthy. That's what I've been focus focusing on lately is really just trying to eat healthy, keep my body together. I noticed that just me doing that, focusing more on eating healthy, that I don't really have to think so much about my weight. Um, like I said, I got on the scale again, and I lost a couple ounces. might not seem like a lot, but like I said... I've just been slowly decreasing, but like I said, it's not like I'm intentionally trying, like I'm like, I'm going to lose all this weight right now. No, it's just that I want to be able to fit my clothes. I want to eat healthy. I want to do what's right. So that's pretty much what I've been, what I've been trying to do. All right, guys, I'm trying to get this spread good because I know I've been like a whole 40 minutes since I've been, but do you guys see, like, you can see what I'm saying when I, um, that this blends with your skin so well like you can't tell at all i mean i don't know if y'all can over there but i absolutely love 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 this foundation i remember one time i put it on my son was just like would you get it for like you did you put it on and he seen it and was just like mom it looks like you don't even have makeup on and i was just like dude this stuff is bomb like so like i said it's called il maquillage i believe y'all gotta check it out online I'm going to look for the website and I'm going to add it in the description box below. And then when you subscribe with them so that you can get like a shipment every couple of months, they will give you this brush for free. When I tell you this brush is bomb. And I used to try and make up before and stuff like that, but I'm not really, I was never really a makeup girl, but then I seen this and I was just like, oh my God, I have to have it. So my um, tummy tuck scar off, a couple people have been asking questions about the tummy tuck tattoo is it better like am i okay like it really is i had a really bad allergic reaction guys and when i tell you that shit burns it burned but it's been weeks since i had the, actually months two months since i had the tattoo and it is like amazing like that man did a good job i went to my doctors and she didn't even notice that i had um like she because i had like switched doctors she didn't even notice that I ended up having, like, I had a tummy that she was, oh my god, your scar is actually pretty amazing. And I was just like, yeah, um, dude did a really good job at covering up my scar. Like, I'm actually just in love with the way that he did it. Like, seriously, like, I am just, like, I look at it sometimes and I'm just like, yo, you really, like, you really can't tell that I had, like, it was, like, some people get tattoo cover-ups, and you can tell that they were trying to cover up something. I feel like he just did such an amazing job that you can't tell that he was actually trying to cover something up. So, it actually worked out pretty good. Um, I don't regret it at all. Um, I, I think he just did an amazing job. I know I still have stretch marks that you can still see. Uh, like, I've been taking, like, putting cream on my stomach to try and see if I can, um, like, just, um, exfoliate and, like, really replenish my skin and keep it hydrated, take care of my skin. Um, stretch marks are genetics. You, like, genetic. You can't really, you can minimize them, but I don't think you can really make them fully go away. I'm not sure. Don't hold me on that. But, I mean, I've had them for years. Even after I got my tummy tuck done, he had to stretch the skin down so much. I ended up getting new ones. And those are still visible, but I'm not ashamed of them. I just wanted to get the scar covered up because sometimes when a wave would beat me in the water, my bottoms would come down <laughs> in the water. Just a little bit. And you could see my scar, and I didn't like that. So that's the reason I had gotten it covered. But besides that, like, 
I'm okay. I was okay with it. I just really wanted to get that done. And I honestly think that the tattoo is like super, it's super duper cute and super sexy. So I think I just want to do, I was going to do my lips like a really cute color. And I, it was actually like a maroon type color like this. But honestly, y'all, I don't even think, this is red. I'm trying to find my maroon one. I don't even know. And this color looks right to this disc, but I wanted to use my matte finish, like the matte one. Like I said, I just want to do a simple look. And I like the way the red looks on me. So we're just going to do the red right now. I'm going to take my hair out and then I'm going to show you guys. Do not laugh at my, 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 my knots that I have in my hair. I did my hair like this because... I wanted to curl it. I tried it the first time like two weeks ago and the curls came out so cute. And then I went outside y'all and it was raining. So I was just like, really though? Like this is what, so let's see what my hair looks like. Cause I really don't even know what it looks like under, underneath here. So I use rubber bands. I have to look at more tutorials online because when I tell you guys, I was just like, I look crazy trying to do it. I do not have really thick hair texture um, like my daughters do. This is kind of hair I have. I'm Puerto Rican. My husband is black. So um, the girls have different hair texture than I do. I have very thin, thin, um, thin hair. I don't know. We're going to see how this works out. Because right now I'm starting to feel like I'm looking crazy. But you know what? We're going to make it work, guys. We're going to make it work. So don't judge me. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I really, I had these in for like three days, too. Because I was just like, I was just like, oh, my goodness. I had these in for a couple days. I didn't want to take them out. So I went to work with these things in and everything. So I know my coworkers will probably look at me like, my husband was trying to roast me, guys, and said that I look like Hellraiser, um, Pinhead, whatever. I was just like, really? Like, that's how you feel about me, Ben. But I'm going to take these out, y'all, as I'm going to show y'all. Um, I'm going to show you guys what my tummy looks like. I actually just watched a video of Beloved. Um, she has the... Um, she has the channel. She does mukbangs and whatnot. She, I was looking at her stuff. Like, I've been watching her um, channel for a long time. And she uh had a bbl and a tummy tuck and i was like commenting and i'm just like dude like believe it or not you can actually get a tummy tuck um cover up tattoo like a lot of people um don't even think about it or just like too afraid to because of the pain but honest to god guys the only thing that was painful was not the front or the scar it was actually my sides like my love handles it was really painful. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. And then I um, end up getting allergic reaction afterwards. So that didn't really feel good. I feel like my curls came out a little crazy. Because last time they came out super cute. Y'all got to let me know in the comments like how y'all can get your hair to... um Like if I can figure out different ways to do the knots. Because I'm not really... Because I know my sisters have thicker hair than I do. They have the more, um, I'm not going to say coarse. They have really, like, thick hair, I guess. And that's the kind of hair that my daughters have to have, like, really thick hair. So, um, my sister's hair, oh, my God, my sister's, well, all my sister's hair is so pretty. It goes, like, down their back. So did mine, and I cut it. And I'm, like, regretting it, like, because now it's, like, I'm not going to lie to y'all, I ordered this Brazilian hair from Amazon. And when I tell y'all I have to do a tutorial, like, of putting it on or, like, of putting it in my hair just in general. When I tell y'all the hair is bomb, it's Brazilian hair. It's human hair. I ordered it their clippings. And when I tell you it is bomb, it is bomb. Like, it really is. It's beautiful hair. And no one could even tell that it it's my hair. And I was just like, oh, snap, you can't tell. Okay, so y'all, I tried. I will style it. I'll figure it all out. But I have to, like, make sure that I don't have no gas in my hair. People like, oh my god, her hair is all over the place. Because it's... I look like the 1950s girls with their red... <laughs> the red lipstick. Oh my god, look. 
Y'all stop playing with me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure it out right now. This is me getting dressed in the morning. Girl. I hope I didn't fail this video, but let me go ahead and sh listen. As, if, even if it is an epic fail, so this is pretty much the light makeup that I would do. I will do my edges. Hold on, let me go get my edge cream and stuff. All right, guys. So I got my my edge cream. Get my little baby hairs. Cause my edges can't be, you know what? It's listen with hair like mine, it is hella hard to get my edges to be popping. Sometimes, like sometimes it's just super annoying. Cause this sweep over here is like gives me a hard time. But then the other one on the other side, I know y'all. I know when I sit, y'all. Yes, I have a roll just like everybody else does. But when I stand up, slim. Like, well, my stomach's flat, but listen, y'all can't be, y'all ain't meant to be tiny, and that's okay, and we all aren't meant to be big. Simple as that. It doesn't make us any less beautiful. Remember that, ladies. All right, so that's pretty much, like, literally the lightest makeup you will see on my face ever. I do not beat my face to the gods. The only thing that I will probably use is putting, hold on real quick, this. And I'm going to wear a mask anyway, so you're not even going to see it. Like, nobody's even going to see it. So I'll just, like, dab my nose. I'll put it literally the, just to have the glow, just for when I take a picture. Mm, did I have that finished look? I don't know why I ain't messed up. I did mess up my makeup, y'all. Like, don't even listen. Like I said, I ain't no professional. I get ready. This is just me getting ready in the morning. My simple, like, I don't do anything extra. I don't do anything, like, you can see the glow. See, that's all I wanted. Because I'm going to wear a mask anyway but because I'm going to take a picture. I will figure out what I'm going to do with the rest of my hair in a little bit. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and get to the end of this video. And I am going to show you guys my stomach now i actually before i had to go ahead and do that i actually mentioned in the where you post in the community i've been trying to get better stuff so that i can like i've been trying to work on my thumbnails i've been trying to work on um my just the video in itself the editing it is quite difficult i give props to all of the youtubers that blew up like i'm trying to make sure that my content is dope for you guys but it is not easy when literally every app that i have they want you to pay for everything to subscribe to them so it was just like really like oh my god but i'm doing my best job so i have bought this this is what my phone is on right now it's a tripod i got it for 16.88 at walmart and i downloaded a couple apps but yeah that's pretty much what i've been trying to do let me show you guys my tattoo as you can see guys i have really 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 big hips like i'm not even playing with y'all look at this like i have very big hips but you know what it is what it is so this is the tattoo and i personally don't think that you can see um or even notice that i had a tummy tuck besides the scarring in my belly button but like I would hope that somebody don't be staring at my belly button all crazy the whole time I'm in a two-piece. But yeah, like, you can't even see the holes that he had from the um, uh, the tubes that I had in. Mind you, I got the tummy tucked on four years ago. Um, in 2016, the revision was in 2017. So, what, three years ago? Um, so, yeah, it looks, it looks pretty dope. I really, really love the tattoo. What I like about it is that when I pull my underwear up, all of this just like looks weird for me. Like I said, my stretch marks go down, guys. Like you can see them all. And yes, I ended up getting like a little, like I'm still put like listen, where it's pudgy right there, who cares? But look, I have stretch marks. It is what it is. That is like, so that is my tattoo, guys. That is what my stomach looks like with the tattoo. I don't regret it at all. Not at all. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
Don't forget to subscribe. Um, yeah, I just hope that I covered everything that I was supposed to cover in the video. I hope my hair don't look too crazy. Oh, y'all, because listen, guys, don't judge me like I told y'all. I tried. But that's literally how I would wear my makeup in the morning. Like, I don't even do a lot to my face. I don't feel the need to have to do all that. But I'm going to put a mask on. But I want to look pretty because I'm going to take a picture after I do this video. So, um... Um, thank you guys so much for watching for all of my subscribers. I appreciate you guys I have so much upcoming content that I've been editing that I have to post and it's just Absolutely time-consuming but when you want your channel to be successful and to vlog and share everything with everyone Then you have to put the best into your work and that's what I'm trying to do So guys, thank you so much until next time. I truly truly appreciate all of you Mm, thank you so much.